Hello and welcome wellness warriors to this week's Tip Tuesday. So on today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about foods with hidden sugars. So stay tuned. So we have all heard repeatedly that too much sugar is bad for you, right? But as we have learned about how our body works, we know that this is partly due to blood sugar increases. Okay, what I like to call the yo-yo effect or the roller coaster. Too much sugar at one time creates a spike and this throws off the body's other systems, okay? So it throws off your body systems, other systems in your body. And it also can lead to tooth decay, weight gain, and chronic health conditions. So this isn't a bid for you to never um, have sugar again. So take a breath. This is not what this is about. I want you to be aware though, so that you can make a more balanced decision on what you're eating and how to look at foods for your body, okay? Because most of us is pretty good about reading labels, I said most, and looking at added sugars, okay? Not everybody, but most, some, however you want to quantify that. But you may not realize that sugars can come in many other forms. And they can come like stealth, okay, like the stealth airplane. So while you may not be seeing it, you know, up front, but you can anticipate that the sugars are there. So like in your breads and your sauces. So sugars are still there. So I want you to do the next time you're browsing items for recipes or checking your kitchen now, look at the labels for the ingredients, right? There are a few things, a few other things I should say that you should keep your eye out for. First, in addition to all of the manufactured sugars ending in OSE, like your fructose and your sucralose, you know, you'll want to watch out for your natural sugars as well because sometimes they can have an effect on your body because everybody has a different effect on how they uh, metabolize these things. And these things can be something like agave, cane, honey, and monk fruit. It can also be derived from fruits like dates and coconuts, okay? So there are some occasions where either even fruit juice um, can be used as a sweetener. So some of these may seem so innocent, but they are still processed the same in our bodies, okay? So just remember that our body's going to break down anything that converts, conversion factor. Don't want to go into detail about that. Some of the top offenders though I want to talk about is foods uh, with added sugars like your dressings and your sauces. Now these can, these things like salad dressings, they can have up to nine grams of sugar per two tablespoons serving, okay? Your barbecue sauces, they can have up to six or seven grams of sugar per one tablespoon, all right? Now, <clears throat> pasta sauces like the marinara's and all those, they can have up to 22 grams of sugar per serving. Listen to what I'm saying, per serving. So we have to look at the serving size, guys, the serving size. Don't just say two grams and you pour in six servings. Other um, offenders, they tend to be your popular breakfast foods. Even healthy cereals, you know, cereal varieties, they can have up to 18 grams of sugar per serving. The same goes for yogurt and oatmeal. Peanut butter can have up to four grams of added sugar per, give it to me guys, serving, okay? Per serving, two tablespoons. So how do you avoid these added sugars? How do you do that? You wanna to try to buy whole foods as much as possible because that naturally decreases the amount of the prepackaged or processed foods, all right? You can make your own natural salad dressings or pasta sauces with a little research. However, you may spend a little more time in the kitchen doing this, but it's going to taste better. These often are um, much healthier. They taste better. And again, you're going to spend some time in the kitchen. So you got to swap something. Better health for a few more. But I, I talk about meal prepping too. So stay tuned for a, a webinar on that. Um, so what else? So excess sugar, uh, we consume it without even knowing it, all right? So just get on the mailing list, join the um, Ultimate Wellness Experience. Remember, procrastination never made a goal. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.